As a family, they've been used to stepping into the spotlight. This is one moment when all the princess wants to do is protect her children from it. As the world processes the news of her cancer diagnosis, her message about the importance of family could not have been any stronger. This, of course, came as a huge shock. And William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. A particularly poignant phrase that's been compared to Queen Elizabeth's rallying speech during COVID when she used those words, we'll meet again. From this future queen, there is no sense of resentment after what must have been a gruelling few weeks. The social media speculation of Kate Gate now replaced by an outpouring of love and sympathy with messages from around the world and acknowledgement of her incredible international status. With affection for her also on display closer to home in Windsor. She has lots of sympathy from us all and um, yes, it was just shocking. She should never have been put in the situation where she had to speak out like that. She should be allowed some privacy. We're very fond of Kate. We think she's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, so, but we wish her the best. In a statement, a Kensington Palace spokesperson said, the prince and princess are both enormously touched by the kind messages from people here in the UK, across the Commonwealth and around the world in response to Her Royal Highness's message. They are extremely moved by the public's warmth and support and are grateful for the understanding of their request for privacy at this time. Throughout her diagnosis and her treatment, Prince William has been by Kate's side. And her, it seems, always in his thoughts as he's tried to keep going with his engagements. Going solo, something he's going to have to get used to for some time to come. Tessie Ojo was with William for the Diana Awards less than a couple of weeks ago. She's known him for the past 24 years and says his resilience is remarkable. It gives you a sense of how much they continue, so how much service means to them, you know, how he shows up, how they show up, you know, despite all of the stuff that's happening. He may be heir to the throne, but Prince William, like so many partners helping their loved ones in this kind of situation, is probably feeling a bit helpless. After all, it's mainly up to the doctors what happens in the short term. But one thing I know he feels he can do at the moment is really double down when it comes to trying to protect his family's privacy. It is Kate's response and decision to tell us herself that has been particularly striking. A devoted mother wanting to do the best for her family, her inner strength really coming to the fore. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.